<clears throat> uh, praise the Lord, everyone, and um, welcome to the Godzilla 7 and Time Prophecy Channel. Um, I'm Sister Barbara, and I'm back again today with the prophecy I received earlier uh, this morning. Um, let's see, today is September 28th, 2021. Now, I have the chandelier on above me because it's um, pretty much pitch uh, black outside and pouring, so I hope the lighting is okay. So join me in the King James Version Bible. <clears throat> I'm going to be in, let's see, Revelation chapter 13. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I picked the wrong one. Here we go, Deuteronomy chapter 28, uh, verse 48. And it's called, um, The Curses of Disobedience. Because you did not serve the Lord your God, with joy and gladness of your heart in all your abundance. You will serve your enemies. The Lord will send against you in famine, thirst, nakedness, and destitution. He will place an iron yoke on your neck until he has destroyed you. The Lord will bring a nation from afar, from the ends of the earth, to swoop down upon you like an eagle a nation whose language you do not understand. Okay, that's filled with information right there. Okay, so I got this again earlier today, um, September 28th, 2021. Right now, let's hope I don't have a problem finding it now. All right, let's see, here we go. All right, here we, here we go. <clears throat> so I was in prayer and I asked, of course, is there anything I need to see or speak? And this is what I got, uh, like a wham. Daughter, speak. Man has been warned of the coming apocalypse, and he has not heeded my words. The apocalypse will usher in a new world order and the captivity of the people. Now I see that millions of people have defiled their temple. Your body is the temple of the Lord. The mockers and scoffers continue in their own lust with sarcasm and ridicule of my written and spoken word, mocking my prophets and messengers publicly. They believe it does not apply to them because of pride. I have, see, I have seen the atrocities committed by man. Man will reap what he has sown. Man is belligerent and does not respect his creator or the creation. I will place a yoke around your neck, men of Babylon, you will be servants of other nations and kings because you did not honor me. You have served other gods and provoked my anger. Soon I will be silent and not hear you. Amend your ways as the clock strikes midnight. Okay, there we go. Now, I think I have several out there about the clock striking uh, midnight. And um, we know we're at it. We're at the end. Here it is. He's saying what's happening. Still, he's seeing everyone um, not turning to him, um, trusting man and man's ways, not turning to God and trusting God. Um, what else did he say here? Um, serving other gods, provoking his anger. It says in the Bible he's a jealous God and he will not have that. Same thing with idol worship. Well, I have the Holy Spirit just came all over me with that. So we're at the end. This is it. I said it on all the videos. I said it in every prophecy since probably, uh, what? probably uh, 2011 when I started the channel. You need to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to read about that in Acts 2.38. And thank you, everyone. I was so overjoyed when you put little notices under the um, comments in the comments of the last video. Um, all, everyone that got baptized, praise the Lord. That made me feel fabulous. Thank you so much for, for getting that taken care of. If God is nudging on you to do that, and that's what he did to me for like a year, you need to do that. Don't dismiss the Lord when he's calling on you to do something. Please don't. All right, now what I forgot last time, and you know I say this on the end of everyone, so I'm going to say it right now. I forgot to thank everyone on the last video for everything they did for us, all the encouraging comments, um, all the notes and cards and lovely things we get in the mail. I forgot to do that. I'm so sorry. Um, thanking everyone that supports the ministry financially so we can help other people that are in trouble. Thank you so much, and they appreciate it, too. Thank you. Um, thank you for all the translations in the other languages. Um, what else? Um, 
uh, notes, cards, like I said, uh, books, everything we receive in the mail. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for your encouragement and sticking with us for all of these years, hearing everything and sharing our messages. Please make sure you're still subscribed to the YouTube channel and then the Facebook channels. Um, you could like and follow us there. You don't need to send any friend requests or anything. Just go on there and like and follow. And I do put other things up there, like I said before. So I'm going to go back to this message again. Okay, now, um, I have several saying that the apocalypse is upon us. I have several. I think Brother Dan has one, and I have maybe two or three. Okay, now, I don't know if you, you're getting this. A, a lot of people might, this might have gone over their head. Let's see, where is it? Um, I see millions of people have defiled their temple. The body is the temple of the Lord. Now, I'm not going to say anything on this. I want you to pray about that and tell me what you think that means. I have a pretty much, <laughs> pretty much good idea of what I think it is. Um, but I don't really want to say it on here because of the censorship and everything. Now, the scary part of this, I'm going to say this, is I kept on hearing yoke around your neck. Um, then I Googled it, and that exact scripture came up. Um, yoke around the neck. Where is that? I put a yoke around your neck, men of Babylon. You will be servants of other nations and kings because you did not honor me. I have that in how many? Uh, we will be invaded. I'm going to say what's in the other ones. We will be invaded. There will be a war or an attack. We will be invaded by other another country, of course. Um, they will take people into captivity, or they will stay here and take over, and then we will be servants and slaves to them. You understand? This is why we're so the, the um, it's so urgent and, and um, it's so important that you give your life to Jesus Christ. I said it before. There's only one mediator between um, man and God, and that is Jesus Christ. You need to have a personal relationship with him. He's calling on you. He's calling on everyone, the last sheep, uh, sheep to come in. He's after you if you're the last one to, to come in and call on him. He needs, you need to do this. And repent and turn from any sin that's in your life. Walk away from it. Don't be in a sinful relationship. Get out of it. Um, uh, things still apply that they did um, at the beginning in, in the, um, all the rules he gave us and statutes. They still apply the Ten Commandments. He did, it still does. All right, what am I forgetting, though? I hope I'm not forgetting anything else. I'm just hoping this is working. Like I said, it's pouring rain out. It's pitch black. Um, I couldn't even see the um, video when I looked in the little window on the bloggy. So I'm hoping this is coming out okay. Um, anything else? Oh, I, did, I do occasionally get this question. Um, with dates. Well, when is this happening? When when is this happening? Um, unless I get it in the prophecy, I don't know when it's happening. And I don't like to add my opinion or anything on there. And I also said this before, if you're on here for a while, if I did get a date and I did know when something was happening, I will not put it up on uh, Facebook or YouTube. I won't. Just so you know that. All right, so let me get going here. I hope this worked out. We love all you guys. Uh, and thank you. And have such a blessed day today. And remember, Jesus is coming back, and, and you could be the last sheep he's waiting for to come forward. I right, hope I make it here. All right, we did it so far, so good. All right, now when I'm ready to dance, I'm going to put a video up. Don't laugh, you'll see it. Come God bless you all, and have a safe and blessed day today. We love you.